through school, assist them in life. So as we escort my late brother, I have a debt of gratitude to him. And as a way of giving back, I'll make sure that his wife who has been left behind, his children, Stephen and your kids, whatever God can help me to see you through, I will do it as a way of appreciation to my late brother who sold me through education. My late brother was also the head of our family, the Kerigo family. We were four, now I'm left, and I'll do what I can in terms of providing leadership to our sisters and our children who have been left behind. And I ask our family to stay united. And we have accepted what has happened. We have taken a bit of hitting for the last 10 years or so as a family. But we are asking God no questions. Because all the difficult things have happened God has equally given us so many other blessings. And therefore, we are not in a position to complain or ask any question. We have accepted the will of God. And all we have to do as a family is to stay united. And like our parents taught us, education, education, education. Let us educate our children. In a family of nine, we were, nine, we were seven graduates from parents who are persons. They just knew that education is important. I think it's a good concept. I think some of us were not very wise. When Wazungus came, they told us to get only two children, and we accepted. Looking back, in my case, I think it was foolish. Because when I sit in my house it's a big house, my children are gone I'm just here with Pastor Docas. if you leave a glass here, you come back after two months, you just find it there is that, is that a home really? so these are things that we did in those days of the 70s oh family planning, nini 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 so we find our